Yeah. Hello, people. I'm Jabby Koi, joined by Chara Kirk. Hello. This video has been sponsored by YouTube Red. This is super exciting for us. We're gonna take a look at Ryan Hansen solves crimes on television. It stars Emmy watcher Ryan Hansen and Emmy nominee Samira Wiley, and it is a YouTube Red original series. The first two episodes are free, just so you guys know. So if you want to check this out, you can do so immediately. If you are interested in this show, there is a link in the description below for you. This is our first time taking a look at this. We're gonna take a look at both trailers. The, um, the family friendly one and the red band one. You're gonna tell us everything we need to know, or you're gonna have a tough time in the slammer. The slammer? You don't like my lingo? Well, pal, you're really not gonna like the way they talk in the big house, because in there, they talk with their dicks. You've really never done this before, have you? Wait, why is it? Is it not feeling authentic? <laughs> Ryan Hansen. Nobody knows who Ryan Hansen is. This is my show, Celebrity Vice Squad. It's a really stupid name for a show. You're one of the celebrity liaisons to the LAPD? Oh, I guess they were pretty impressed with my reel. They must be fans of unaired pilots. Oh, oh gosh. And everything. Me and the other A-listers are supposed to be like Hollywood liaisons for the LAPD. Help them solve crimes using our industry connections, sense memory techniques, our gift of channeling characters. Seriously? That's the premise of this show. I'm like legit helping solve this. Come on, admit it. You need to shut up when you talk. <laughs> There's a killer out there, and we've got to find him. LAPD, drop your weapons! Or her. Yeah. Women can be murderers, too. Not the face! <laughs> I'm with her. Ignore her. She's my partner. No, he's not my partner. He's a sanctioned civilian observer. I'm getting a badge. No, he's not. It's being discussed. <laughs> But I've seen you in anything? This. This show that you're literally on right now. It looks like orange is the new white. <laughs> but I don't get it. <laughs> She's an orange is the new black. Right. <laughs> Don't do it. You're not going to shoot Kristen Bell. <laughs> we need the climax to be climactic. Don't you need to be somebody to have a movie made about you? You think, right? And television? Forget about it. They're giving everyone a show now. Oh. Two steps forward. Two steps back. Oh, man. <laughs> we come together because I was blessed. I mean, it's a little on the nose, but... Oh, of course, of course. <laughs> <laughs> Well, not just cute, but like really fun as well. Right. Basically, from what I understand and like the blurbs and stuff I've read is that this is a really meta show. It's about an actor who gets to join the police force and do this reality TV show. So it's kind of poking fun at police procedurals that we're used to watching. Right. Poking fun at reality shows. And it's just really like aware of itself. Just watching that trailer, it, it just tickled me so much. Well, there's a lot to it, right? Like you're saying, it's meta and it's, it's making fun of the buddy cop thing. It kind of reminds me of the other guys. Yes. With Will Ferrell and Mark Wahlberg, yeah. where it's making fun of the buddy cop duo scenario where they're constantly in these things that you'll find in action movies that are tropes from like big action mm -hmm. films, but they're reacting to it in a very realistic way. You're throwing this very normal guy who's just a theater performer into these real life situations. You're gonna find a lot of great comedic moments naturally because of that. Also that he just so desperately wants to have his own show and he thinks he's somebody and then no one really knows who he is. Well, yeah, there's that too. Yeah, and he's all yeah. like, and he's trying so hard to be like the, you know, the bad cop, and it's like, mm, yeah, you've you've never done this before, right? Have you? Like, you're an actor. You're not the real deal. When, yeah, when the suspect you're interrogating is picking you apart, it's <laughs> a very bad situation. What's cool about this is where you can see the trajectory. These two who are very opposites mm -hmm. do inevitably attract, like the show was saying at the end of the trailer. Yeah. You want to see their relationship blossom over the course of the show because she's very hard edged and serious, and he's yeah. kind of like Owen Wilson in a way, just uh -huh. kind of jovial and you know, having fun as he goes through it. And I'm sure over the course of the show, he'll discover serious moments himself and, you know, maybe even doubt himself. Like, there's a lot of potential there. Should we watch the next one? Let's watch the Red Band trailer. I'm excited. Viewer discretion is advised, Jabby. <sighs> so you're telling me this is actually gonna be on TV? It's more of an internet webisode thing at the moment. It's gonna be on YouTube Red. Wait, the porn site? You're thinking of RedTube or YouPorn. Weird, right? Because those are both like super popular online <laughs> pornography sites. 
Seems like somebody should have checked on that. Huh. <laughs> I'm Ryan Hansen? Nobody knows who Ryan Hansen is. Most people just confuse me with Ryan Philippi. You're one of the celebrity liaisons to the LAPD? I guess they were pretty impressed with my reel. They must be fans of unaired pilots. That's so mean. I know. You guys mean everything. Me and the other A-listers are supposed to be like Hollywood liaisons for the LAPD. Help us solve crimes using our industry connections, sense memory techniques, our gift of channeling sense characters. Sense memory techniques. Seriously? That's the premise of this show. Dope, right? <laughs> this could do for YouTube brands Bust like Hulu. <laughs> boom, Emmy, boom, Golden Globe, boom. Ooh. Other... TV award, I can't think of right now, like, you know, SAG or something. <laughs> There's a killer out there, and we've got to find him. LAPD, drop your weapon! Or her. Ah! Women can be murderers, too. Not the face! Hashtag, I'm with her. <laughs> <laughs> what did she say? Ignore him. I'm, like, legit helping solve this case. Come on, admit it. You need to shut up when you talk. I have the smoldering intensity of a young Brad Pitt, and you're like Morgan Freeman. What? Because you're the more seasoned police officer. <laughs> but I've seen you in anything. Or... This, this show that you're literally on right now. Hey, you touch me again, and I will shoot you in the head and finger fuck the hole. <laughs> oh my gosh. That is gross. <laughs> I am A-list actor Joel McHale. I'm Donald fucking Faison! <laughs> I'm a movie star! It's me, John Cryer, one of the biggest TV stars in the world, working for scale. I'm CBS's Eric <gasps> Christian Olsen. You've seen me on TV. <gasps> Network television is creatively bankrupt. Oh. <clears throat> Wait, so you're not actually Elsa? You know what, sweetie? Elsa can suck my dick. We need the climax to be climactic. <laughs> Don't you need to be somebody to have a movie made about you? You think, right? And television? Forget about it. They're giving everyone a show now. Oh. <laughs> it's gonna be on the internet, so. Whoa, like the internet? YouTube Red, baby. Oh, you're doing porn now. Wow, congratulations. I didn't know you had the pipe for it. No, I don't. It isn't. Okay, it's YouTube Red. It's exactly like YouTube, but it's not free. <laughs> I really enjoy the fact that they're making fun of themselves and they're making fun yeah. of the name confusion. That's really cool because it's just very free. Yeah. It's expressing itself as free as possible and is saying exactly what you're thinking before you can say it. Yeah. I really like that it's super meta. It's a very different show. I can't think of any other show that's ever existed that's like this on the internet or on mm -hmm. television. I mean, it is kind of like The Office as well with that. I, I love all of that, you know, looking straight into camera. When he says something stupid, yeah. like, oh, they're giving everyone a TV show nowadays and she's like, Right, and exactly. you have that knowing moment when they break the fourth wall right. and it's it's just really fun and I think you know because this show is on YouTube Red yeah. I did not say the other thing yeah. <laughs> um, uh, we are contractually obligated not to say the other thing <laughs> yeah but because it's on even YouTube, though they did it in this in this I know right? in the commercial <laughs> but again we're not allowed to because it's on YouTube Red and it's on the internet I feel like there's a lot more freedom to just really explore and have fun with it and be really different yeah. So I think that's exciting. And I mean, this is the first time I've ever seen anything for YouTube Red, and I think it looks really good. Right. Well, I've been aware of YouTube Red for a while, and I pay for YouTube Red. I haven't watched too many of the programs on YouTube Red yet. I pay for YouTube Red so I don't have to look at the ads. <laughs> So, because when I'm checking my own content and I have to look at an ad, I'm like, ah. So that's why I pay for YouTube Red to just bypass that. It's only like 10 bucks a month from what I remember. Yeah. Like, it's not that much. So if you guys are considering it, you should definitely, you know. And this is, the, the first two episodes of this are free. You can just check it out and see if you want to do yeah. it and then sign up for a month, watch the show, and then go from there and see if you want to keep going with YouTube Red. They've got a lot of content. That's what I know. They've got a lot of stuff on there and you don't have to look at ads anymore. So it's a double whammy. I think it's actually worth the investment. I've been paying for it for like over a year now. You can subscribe to YouTube Red right now and watch the entire first season like immediately. It's mm -hmm. kind of like Netflix, but instead it's YouTube <laughs> Red. <laughs> and one more thing that I didn't mention that I thought was really exciting is that they've got all of these like well-known actors playing versions of themselves, which I find really funny. Like Kristen Bell as this really kind of 
bitchy, awful person. Yeah. I think that's really cool. The votes are pretty divisive on this trailer. I'm actually surprised that this hasn't come out sooner because of what you were saying with The Office, like Parks and Recreation. Uh -huh, yeah. These these shows where they're looking straight into the camera and breaking the fourth wall, the kind of mockumentary shows have been around for a while. That's mm -hmm. not anything new. It's surprising to me that we haven't had one that is related to cops sooner. The closest thing I can think of is Reno 911, but truth be told, I've never watched that show. It's gonna be weird to say, but that felt more like a farce, whereas this is more like these. this guy's actually trying to be a cop. Although the situations are really funny and outlandish, I think Reno 911 was more caricature based. This is more like, if you take these real actors and these real people and put them in this situation, what's gonna happen? How are they gonna respond to it? I'm glad that they're trying to do something different. I'm glad that they're investing money in this to try to give us some different kind of content that we're not actually seeing on television right now. I'm not super familiar with Ryan Hansen, although I did watch a little bit of Party Honor, I've Down. I've never heard of him. Oh. Before this, I've never heard of him. <laughs> Maybe that's the whole point. That's part of the yeah. joke, right? But I, I did watch Party Down, which he was in. I don't really remember him in that, but I did like that show. It was, yeah. it was pretty funny. And then obviously, I, I'm, I'm a big fan of Orange is the New Black, so it's exciting to see Samira Wiley on this. I like Samira Wiley as that kind of tough cop, but you know she's got something underneath. Like she's right. got a little bit of a fun personality too. So like, I can't wait to see more of that come out. Ryan Hansen to me on this, he seems so charming. Yeah. There's just something about his little quirkiness. It almost feels like it could be overacting, but it's done in such a natural way. I feel like that's just really his personality. He right. is this kind of larger than life person. Right. And I enjoy that. I'm definitely gonna watch at least the first two episodes. Those are the free ones. <laughs> and, but I have YouTube Red, so I can watch the whole season. I'm at least gonna watch the first first and second one and give you guys a review on that. I'm actually happy that YouTube is doing this because up till now we were just seeing stuff with like PewDiePie and like yeah. taking other YouTubers and putting them, and I thought Ryan Hansen was a YouTuber. I looked him up and all I found was this show. <laughs> this is kind of fulfilling my predictions because my prediction is that in 10 years, normal television is gonna be obsolete. All you're gonna have is YouTube, Hulu, HBO Go or HBO Now, whatever it might Netflix. be, and Netflix and Amazon, like those streaming on-demand services is where the future is. And so I think this is the beginning of that, mm -hmm. that era. And so like, I'm, you know, this is, yeah. It's exciting. Yeah. We're I, like right on the cusp of that. Thanks so much for hanging out with us. Let us know in the comments below how you felt about this. Honestly, let us know your thoughts, good and bad. We want to know. Let us know if you watch the show, if you watch the first two episodes. They're free. There's a link in the description below. If you do watch the show, come back to this video, comment below, and let us know how you felt about it. Otherwise, please subscribe. Check out Achara Kirk on the social media. Check out our other reactions, reviews, and short films. I'm Jabby Kuwait. This is Achara Kirk. Peace out.